Hello everyone, Namaste. I'm Dr. Suparna Rao, a medical oncologist working at Hinduja Hospital Mahim, Mumbai. So today I'll be briefly giving you an idea about uh, the targeted therapies which are very very novel therapies which are available in metastatic and advanced bladder cancers. So till recently or you might have heard so far that the standard of treatment which is still a standard of treatment for advanced metastatic urothelial carcinomas are cisplatin based which is chemotherapy based treatment and following that if it progresses what are the novel therapies that are available for patients. So if patients are not eligible for cisplatin therapy upfront then the next best option we have is immunotherapy. Now what happens if a patient progresses on chemotherapy or is not eligible for chemotherapy or progresses on chemotherapy and immunotherapy. So these are the novel therapies which are available and what are the treatments that are available. So more recently it's been found that there are some specific mutations in urothelial carcinoma patients called as FGFR mutations, FGFR2 and FGFR3. So a patient has alterations of this sort that is FGFR2 and 3 they are eligible for anti-FGFR inhibitor which is eridafitinib. Now what is the response rate? So we always are worried about what is the outcome if one gets that therapy. Though it's not easily available and probably is expensive, it's been found that patients who have probably not even eligible for chemotherapy or patients who have progressed on chemotherapy, if patients do receive this FGFR inhibitor which is eridafitinib, then the response rate is 40% which means that if 100 patients receive it, 40 patients respond to it which is a very very uh, good thing in our setting and it's been found that for about six months these patients do not progress and for patients who receive this therapy they uh, manage to live for up to one year so it is a novel therapy which is available so apart from aridafidinib is there anything else in the pipeline which is recommended and available so there are two other fda approved antibody drug conjugate so what is the antibody drug conjugate it's basically a combination of giving an antibody along with a drug. So this antibody basically goes and gets attached to the tumor cell and helps deliver the drug more specifically to the tumor cell thereby reducing the other toxicities. So there are two antibody drug conjugates which are available and approved in an advanced metastatic bladder cancer setting and the two are enfortumab vedutin and sasituzumab govitikin. Now both these drugs have been approved in patients who have received chemotherapy and immunotherapy already. So remember we cannot walk into the clinic and ask just because they are novel and they are available. They are not indicated in first line. They are available for patients who have already received chemotherapy and immunotherapy. So there again then we ask you know how useful it is. Yes again not easily available and pretty expensive at this particular point in time. Their response rates in the order of 40% for uh, enfortumab vedotin which is again not bad and they have seen that around for up to 6 to 7 months these patients manage to continue this drug and they live for around 1 year after starting the drug. Again these kind of outcomes although when you hear is alarming it is kind of a significant outcome when it comes to advanced bladder cancer say in comparison to 5 to 6 years ago when we hardly had anything apart from chemotherapy. The other drug again sasituzumab govitikin has a response rate of around 30%. Both these drugs have been extensively studied in trials and are approved. So for bladder cancer as of now, we not only have chemotherapy which was you know probably the only thing which was available a decade ago and we have immunotherapies and more recently for patients who say are ineligible for chemotherapy also, it is possible to start these novel targeted therapies. Thank you.